Hello, it's Richard at Richard's Guitars and um, today I am bringing you something unbelievably special and um, yeah, it's um, it might sound a little bit boring when I um, go on about similar brands and things, but these are my babies so I want to just keep bringing you stuff. Uh, this guitar came in for a customer, um, but um, wasn't quite spec quite right. Uh, it was supposed to have a, 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 a wider nut and it didn't. So. Um, and um, I've just been giving, I, I was going to be talking about something completely different and I thought, no, 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 no. Uh, this cannot be in my building and not be spoken about. So this is the um, Gordon Smith Classic T. Now, the wonderful thing about this particular Classic T is that I've done all sorts of special versions and varieties. Um, I've got two or three, four, five Classic Ts in here now in different variations. Um, we've got the P90 with the humbucker, we've got the, uh, the bed of caster that I think I showed you. This is, that's an amazing guitar, um, but, but, but different, a little bit different, but that's another beautiful classic T. Um, but this is just really old school, really just what you might, if you picture the Telecaster in your mind, but this is what I did, because uh, this, I, obviously I had it made for me. So this was the guitar that I said, look, if I wanted a telly, this is what it would look like. So I'm going to show you now. So basically, that is an ash body. Um, and it's single piece, that is a one piece ash body. And if you look at the, the, the I hope it comes across, but the, the scratch plate, rather than just having a white scratch plate, that is like a kind of parchment, kind of that creamy effect three ply plate so um, you know not uh, I suppose you could argue that's not technically vintage you could have a one ply was that 50s I don't know uh, but anyway a, um, three ply uh, parchment plate um, and if you look at the back you'll just see it's just one piece of ash it's beautiful it's just t beautifully made it's um, it is just everything about this guitar it's got a satin beautiful satin neck um, and what I asked with the neck, if you see the neck, I don't know how it looks. In, I think it looks a little bit kind of creamier tinted. Sometimes with um, a, vi a maple neck, it can look a little bit kind of clinical, a little bit sort of sharp, bright white colour. Um, but just by applying a bit of vintage tint on there, just gives you that nice kind of old school look about it, which is um, rather beautiful. And um, but most important, oh, another thing is something that I like to do on these is, and I'm not quite sure what they call their standard policy, but you know how you normally get the kind of um, on the traditional telly, you've got the kind of uh, um, the saddles which are sharing, you know, maybe three poles, and um, you've got more limited intonation and movement, and they can kind of rattle a bit. But it is very traditional, but. On this you've got more, um, I would say you've got more stability, more energy staying in the guitar. It's just, it is a slightly more modern design, but I kind of like it. It works well. I know that uh, from a technician's point of view, he's always much keener on, on, on that. So on this particular one, I've asked for, uh, you know, more, more, more like a Strat style uh, uh, saddles. Um, <clears throat> but but I, I just plugged it in. And um, I didn't actually, wasn't using the plate, I can't play with that, but, but, but it, I was just doing a bit this kind of, um, sort of bluesy. That kind of sort I could play. It's a beautiful Telecaster sound. There's a, there's a sound the Telecaster makes, and um, this is the, we're in the middle here. But if we want to get that real bright, spanky kind of Tele. Change key. 
um, yeah, just just beautiful. The Telecaster, it's something that um, I I really love the Tele style. It's simplistic approach. Uh, I don't really use a trem arm. The only time I really um, I used to use trem arms, but in a much more extreme way when I was doing kind of rock guitar in the early days. Uh, a lot of uh, you know that kind of widdly widdly. <laughs> my uh, and so there's a lot of whammy bar used for all these kind of you know, kind of legato stars. Um, so so I've used the whammy bar for that. But really, in terms of normal guitar playing on a personal level, um, I like to use just my fingers. So the point being is, if you are doing a lot of bending and, and vibrato, really you don't really need a tremolo arm. And if you're not using a tremolo arm, it's a pain in the backside to be honest, you know, you don't need the tremolo arm. If you don't need the tremolo arm, the trem, I don't want to tell you how to suck eggs, but you probably know about the issues with strings balancing on, on the, I don't want to do a traditional thing, uh, but um, we can talk about that in another video. But so, but I'm just a big fan of the kind of fixed bridge uh, setup. And the Tele for me has always been a great machine for just it's plug in and play. Very simple, very simple kind of style uh, setup and it just works. Um, the, um, and also because I kind of like the jazzy blues, we can ro roll that tone off. So you get a lovely Love it, love it. So that's it. Uh, Gordon Smith Classic T in the most beautiful, beautiful ash finish. And I, I couldn't really want a nicer guitar than that. Um, and I hope you'll agree, because I'll be upset if nobody wants to buy it. Because I like people to like things that I like. <laughs> I feel very sorry for the guitar, nobody likes it. Um, so there you go, Gordon Smith Classic Tea, hope you like it. Uh, see you soon. Oops.